Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. It is Tuesday night, and we are on a silver squeeze watch, so to speak. That's right, uh, along with our normal uh, shenanigans that we take part in on Tuesday night. We're gonna we're gonna periodically dip into the Asian markets to see what's going on there, and uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have a much smaller crowd tonight than we had on Sunday night. During the madness, might have our regulars here, which is always a good thing. we got Donald in New Mexico, Benny, Barker, Jamie, Fox, and uh, Eric is here. Yes, we had a pretty big drop. Craziness, indeed. Talked about it in tonight's video. Uh, but I'm a little behind on comments. I'm going to try to get down to the bottom of that. We'll work our way up, indeed. We'll... We're going to be periodically dipping into the markets and see if it falls even further. Um, so we shall see. We'll see what happens here and uh, and see how this plays out for sure. All right. Very, very good. Uh, T, the Silver Stacker is here. we got Days and Confused Stacker. A lot of good folks here. Gaz Grill, the Raza Manaza is present. And prostate and accounted for. Very, very good. So let's see here. Um, we're going to get down here to the bottom of this. Of these comments a little bit of time here to go we're we're come here we go all right now we've reached the bottom and what i'm going to do to save time if i reply to your comment once i may just heart it for the next ones here um and here's um wall street bets hold your silver don't sell we're always holding so there we go very good all right so they've apparently the wall street bets crowd are giving some good advice to hold on to it so the Wolverine is looking forward to fall, looking forward to silver to fall. Yes, indeed, and we shall see. Actually, he may prove to be right. The way it's been moving down um, here lately, we'll find out here uh, in due course. Um, this is another one of those stupid spam comments, and I don't have time to um, uh, to do anything about it now, so I can't report it because it takes forever to do that. Premiums are way too high. I recommend. I would recommend, no way I would recommend buying now. That's right. Yeah, when that's just it, you got to understand what you're paying for if you're going to buy at these levels. It's riskier. It's, it literally is. And I mentioned it, liken it to uh, really a sense day trading when the premiums are this high. Premiums always drive people away. Um, and rightfully so. Wait until they come down. All right, very good. Puden is here saying to squeeze me. That's right. Stacking Nerd is here. Good to see the Stacking Nerd. And you guys definitely, she was a, well, she still is a saint in the community, but she really hasn't had much material to pull from uh, for these deals, uh, these amazing deals she would post about. Uh, definitely taking advantage of it um, when she did that, but the deals are very hard to find. Very good. All right. All right. Thank, hey, Robert E. Lee, thank you so much, my friend. Was around when Silverfish VT was a thing. I appreciate that. Silverfish VT was definitely... Um, a man of high character, a great guy, always encouraging to the community. I hope he's doing well. James Hagen just purchased 20 ounce, going to hit 10 this each week for the next eight weeks to make a point and to have an impact. We must make this a sustained, sustained effort. That's right, exactly, and sustained based off of your budget, um, for sure. And you know something where it's not just a fly by night thing. It'll never survive as a fly by night thing. Newsmatic says very nice. Thank you, my friend. This video, and we've got uh, Stacking Skier says, that was quite nice of that Mexico CEO to take the time to reach out to you and explain things. Hold on, just got that email too. Now I feel special. Yep, they sent out to anybody that's placed an order with them or on their list. That's where it went for sure. All right, very good. All right, we've got a lot of good folks popping in here. Appreciate you all being here. Into the pit, that little testament there. Ty Slayer, T Slayer is here. From British Columbia, very good to see you. Dewey says, Sai, now $22 an ounce seems so cheap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The movement of silver is taking a step backwards here. AUEG Physical, good Sal and vid today. You seem relaxed. You know something we don't understand. Please share. Um, well, it's, it's that, I mean, you know, it's exciting to see the news, but we've been here before. Hype is hype. And you don't even have to be a silver stacker to get it. I knew this was going to be short-lived. I even posted a video that said this won't last. I just didn't think it would stop this soon. Now, I may be writing the obituary on this too soon. There could be a second wave of this. Um, uh, but uh, So we'll see here. 
Uh, let's see here. All right, yes. Yeah, GameStop is already down. It's ninety dollars on its way back to four. Silverfish VT says Kalanick Stacker once nearly lost his mind when the Royal Canadian Mint sent him an advertisement on colored clad coins. Wow, yeah. I don't have to remember that. Hey, all right, Laney is here. Good to see Laney. Hello, how are you doing? Long time indeed. Hope you are doing well. Yes, we've had a little bit of a crazy past couple of days here uh, with the news. Uh, with uh, this short squeeze. It's been nuts. Hope you're doing well over there. RB50. Retire before 50. There she is, Laney. All right. Go Maple. Silver reaches 30 bucks. That's nothing. The silver should be over 40 or 50 per ounce. Uh, that wouldn't interest me because I'm selling, not buying silver. There you go. I tried. And that's just it. We don't want to get our hopes up too much. You're on fire lately, Sal, says the Silver V. Well, actually, I do not have hemorrhoid flare-ups. In fact, I don't even have hemorrhoids. So, therefore, I cannot be on fire. But I appreciate, no, I appreciate that, the Silver V. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with the news. And it's difficult. Definitely, definitely um, a lot of time and effort to doing it. But I appreciate you. Appreciate everybody watching. Hey, Fabian is here. Hello, the one and the only Fabian T. All right. I'm in the squeeze with AMC. All right. Yes, all right. There's there's several different forks for this. There's a GameStop AMC. There is um, a Nokia. There's a BlackBerry. And uh, then Silver. It's crazy. So I hope you're doing well with it. That's great. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you over here. You are were the conservative voice of reason. Well, thanks, my friend. I tried to. I don't want to. Uh, rain in anybody's parade, but we got to be cautious when we uh, do these types of things. Understand the risks. AC expiration. Uh, what they really mean is shove it up your fanny. We really don't care about what you want. We would rather deal with the banks. Well, I think there's some level to that. I mean, businesses have got to make a profit. But Atmex is not, when, when Atmex charges 40, um, $40 for a Silver Eagle, they are paying more probably. Now, they are a direct distributor of the mint. Um, so, uh, they, the, you, the mint may be raising their premiums too. We don't know. Last I heard it was $2 and 50 cents. It actually went up, uh, from $2. So anyways, hey, no problem, Fabian. Uh, anything I can do to help. I appreciate that, my friend. I mean, I'm, uh, definitely. Yeah, no problem. Glad to, glad to do it. And here we go. Okay. And, uh, Greg uh, Chatterton says, my LCS just called me and sold me 10 Morgan Silver Dollars for $27 each. Wow, that's considered a pretty darn good deal, I would say. Big Rob NZ says, epic show yesterday. Well over 1,000 people watching. Actually, I was surprised. I was expecting 200 on the live stream. We got 2,200. That was an, an amazing. That was just a fluke. I don't, I don't think we can repeat that, but nonetheless, uh, it is what it is. I'm glad to have uh, new folks joining in. Gold Maple, I need that gold nugget, Salivate. You know, side and feature the 1986 Australian gold nugget. I mean, eyeing that gold nugget. Yes, it'd be nice. All right, for sure. All right, let's start the beginning of the squeeze watch. Yes, indeed. You know the song by The Who, The Squeeze Box. Well, we're going to do a squeeze watch. Indeed. All right, very good. Native Stacker is here. Good to see you. Back from my truck, run to the West Coast, and all heck breaks loose. I know exactly. Yes. We couldn't find Andy either. We couldn't. Where was Andy when you needed him? But we got Native back. And John Hartley is here. Good to see John Hartley. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Yes, indeed. Okay, so here we go. We have uh, New York markets are closed. Let's go to the the Asian markets are up a little bit. So silver is trying to make a slight recovery here, but not by a whole lot. It is up over twenty-seven dollars an ounce. So the squeeze is, uh, there might be a little bit of a pushback on this. People seeing an opportunity, a buying opportunity, perhaps on the SLV, and they're trying to hold on. Um, so that's why it was a question mark in my video today about it. But it looks like the metals are making a move up north slightly, only just a little bit. But as you can see, uh, silver is, is outperforming gold in this. Um, and as I mentioned in today's video, it looks like, and that uh, gold is actually following silver during these times. Uh, crazy. Crazy indeed. Okay, let's get back to the comments. We will periodically visit there. But we're going to be talking about all of this stuff 
by way of the comments here. So you'll want to stick around here. appreciate you guys being here. Mainstream news is talking about silver now. It is exciting to see, even though many times the mainstream news gets things wrong, but it is exciting to see that they are uh, talking. Strange times, says Kuna Coins. Yes, indeed. Strange times, indeed, they are with demand. All right, this is the video. This is the video I was hoping would go viral, not my videos about the silver squeeze. This is a 24 karat gold, the most valuable guitar pick in the world. And I can't get anybody to watch this video. Well, some of my faithful viewers have, but not a lot. Uh, Brady Carpenter loves the stuff. Great. More competitive buyers from Manet's Bomb Supplies. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Hey, Silver Mac is here. The one of the only Silver Mac. Here we go. Let's have a slurp in Silver Mac's honor. Ah, yes, indeed. Good to see you, Silver Mac. Hope you're doing well. Long time no see. Yes, indeed. Oh, thank you so much over here. Appreciate you, my friend. And earned your viewership. Well, I hope some of these new viewer, viewers um, and subscribers will stick with me. We have fun here, you know, and uh, we enjoy. We talk about the medals, and we, and we, uh, yeah, we 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 have a good time. So I hope they'll stick around. Uh, it's double pleasure to deceive the deceiver, says Niccolo Machiavelli. Yes, indeed. All right, have we been fooled? Video many people missed that work. Uh, criticizing me for this video which was which was posted before uh you don't know the silver market and you don't know what you're talking about i'm sure criminal jp morgan and their cartels are happy to pay you to spread this information well tyrannosco why don't you give me the proof that there is this massive manipulation and instead of just saying you don't know the silver market well obviously there's a lot involved in the silver market my, my guess is that many of us don't know fully comprehend the silver market but I think I would be argue that I would know more than you do, um, or else you would have actually provided a little bit of evidence before you your slander there. Eric says, "Great sell. The silver price drives uh, gets driven up instead of two trillion. AOC's Green New Deal will cost America ten trillion. There you go. Exactly right. There you go. All right. Exactly right. Uh, D.D. Smith, thank you so much." Appreciate that, D.D., first super chat of the night. Appreciate that. It's a bunch of cheapskates here. Huh? Oh, man. Hey, I appreciate the super chat, but you know what? I just appreciate everybody being here. Uh, their time um, is more than I could ever ask for. So thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Keith Moon's Ashes can outplay Lars Ulrich on drums. Very true. That's right. And Pudenda is here. All right, very good. And I Am Gogi is here. I hope you're doing well. A lot of good folks popping in here. All right, nice. Thank you for being here. Tanya, today, let's just print more money. Fan freaking tastic. Buy physical. There you go. Let's get physical. Let's buy it up. Supreme Cannon says that's the upside if nothing else works out. A few more tens of thousands of new stackers added to the army. Yes. And hopefully they'll stick to the army and not abandon. We don't want them to go AWOL. Yes, indeed. We do not want them to go AWOL. All right, all right very good. Good to see all you guys here. And Melting Down says, seems like any positive news comes out of the out for silver, the customers get the short end of the stick, whether it's higher premiums now. And I know, and before we get into this a whole lot, yes, it is easy, and I hate these higher premiums, but the only answer to them really is to, uh, is to not buy. Uh, I don't think we can necessarily blame any big picket or dealer. They've got to make money. If they're paying higher premiums, they got to pass it on to us, then some, to make their cut. Um, now, um, what does that mean? There are, some of them are to capacity with their business, so they may raise them to kind of pull back on business um, so they can handle the orders they get. Um, when the smart thing really to do is just to wait it out, be patient, this too shall pass. That's right. As opposed to uh, Gandalf the Grey, He's saying, you shall not pass. In this case, they will. All right, very good. Texas Lone Star Stackers here. Good good to see you. Passive Breakers is here. Appreciate all you guys being here. We got a greeting from my kitten is a black belt. We'll probably just heart later his comments because he basically says the same thing. Um, Gastorfic says, Sal, this could be a fake shortage on Atmex. Could be them raising the price and removing product to increase demand. Well, actually, they were actually very transparent about it. They had product. They said they were going to stop selling it. 
until the markets opened up. So they had the product. Um, in fact, Sunday night we saw they became uh, available again. Uh, we walk and talk and each other and laugh at each other and laugh with each other. That's right over here. All right. M bar site still under maintenance. Oh, I haven't checked it lately, but you know, that's a smaller dealer. They literally could be out of stock. I would not surprise me if they actually were out of stock. And they raised their premiums too as the night went on. Warning, there is no short. I checked my local retailers. All of them, 40 plus, were all flush with silver. Wall Street Bets isn't doing this. Uh, all right, well, they're, but there's still a demand for it, and there's less of it out there. And MILCS is getting wiped out. Getting wiped out uh, for sure. All right. Kevin Latulipi says, My online dealer of seller of silver in Canada was closed for most of the weekend, and now seeing these silver maples are 20 plus dollars above spot, shouldn't low supply just drive spot up higher of banks and sovereign mints and dealers making great returns on premiums? Um, yeah. Um, well, that's exactly what's happening. It's, uh, it, it's the, the, there is a little bit of a, there's going to be a crunch in supply from here. For a while, the silver that's available is going to be sold out. People will pay the higher premiums. It happens all, it happens at least for a while until more stock comes in and then this stuff kind of comes back down a little bit. Hello, Barbara Carbone. Good to see you. A slurp in your honor. There's Freedom Stacker with the second super chat of the night. Thank you, Freedom Stacker. You were the man. All right. Silver Mac, the new Eagle, will come out in the summertime. Sometime this summer. Karen Rose loves Atmex. All right. Very good. All right. I don't know if people are frustrated, <clears throat> frustrated with these premiums. I am too. For sure. And my answer is to it is I just won't take part in it as far as buying stackable silver. Plumber Stacker, all in all, I think you're right, and this will be good for silver in the long run. It has brought out a lot of new attention to it. Hopefully, the new people will stay with it. That's the key. We want new people to stay with it and learn about it and understand it. We don't want people to get uh, disenfranchised with silver and uh, feel jaded and walk away. I think there um, a, a certain amount of that happened in 2013 and 14 when this channel started, when many of us, including me, thought, that silver was literally going to go to the moon any moment, and it didn't. I learned a lot during that period, for sure. All right, learned a lot. Ken Rose just bought two yesterday where I usually buy five on my budget, but Admex could guarantee the two I bought. Okay, very good. Well, I'm glad they could guarantee that order. I'm sure you paid a lot, all right? Uh, Silent Hunger says, like and subscribe. Your videos are straightforward and lack the hype of some other silver channels that screech about various unrealistic things. Sometimes it feels like those channels are pumping the support for something they bought too much of at a higher price. The speed metal intro is appealing as well. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. I've gotten usually good compliments, but recently I've gotten a lot of hate on the intro, but not everybody's a metal head, but everybody should be. Everyone should listen to heavy metal. That's the one thing I do pump is metal, heavy metal. Um, keep up good work. I'll keep watching. I'm a long-term accumulator that started stacking in the 90s. This was a bygone era where you could buy a bag of silver from pawn shops for about $4 an ounce. I remember. You're right. Well, thank you, Silent Hunger. I very much appreciate your kind words for being here, for sure. The Guam Stacker. I don't really blame them, but still, come on, man. Well, there you go. That's that's. I think that's kind of really the fair um, assessment of this thing with the premiums going crazy up. All right. I'm very good. Uh, Chris Correll says it hasn't designated, it hasn't designed for the investor, but it is for the Comex and the bullion dealer. It will go up and then they will figure out how to screw us and ca crash it once again. Just be careful what you buy and watch the premiums because you will get screwed, as always, unless you are a dealer. Good luck to all. Well, and I think when it's, when they're, when they're, like I talked about in today's video, when they start to, um, and get the, uh, the metals, uh, paying more for a contract, a minimum for the options, that's where the manipulation comes in because they need to get the physical to back it up, I guess. D.D. Smith, uh, news on King Gold. I don't know who that is. That name sounds somewhat familiar, but I'm not sure who that is. But thanks, D.D. Smith, for the super chat. Hello, media man. Good to see you. Good to see everybody here. All right, we're going through this thing here. 
And uh, covering some of these comments, I'm going to take a look at the markets to see if the squeeze is on again or if it's loosening up a little bit. I love it. Keep playing. I'll get rich. There you go. All right. Termlimits.com. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I assume it's legit. I think I've seen Nick 574, but I'm not going to click on it. Uh, Michael Rhodes says, I've switched over to gold bars, 5 to 10 grams bars over coins, just a personal choice. Yeah, and sometimes you can find better deals in this fractional assayed cards, for sure. And they are legit, for sure. Drake Savory, this reminds me of gasoline price excuses. Oil prices goes up, gas prices goes up because of the replacement cost of the gasoline. Oil goes down, gas prices don't go down because they're using gas from oil they bought three weeks ago when it was expensive. Yes, indeed, and that's a part of the market I don't want to even play with. It's crazy, these futures and, and uh, all that and how they... Options, puts, spreads, it's nuts. Bob's cousin, if it's going to triple digits, a lot of shares will want delivery. Yes, and but as I heard thing on there, they can just refuse it or make the fees so high to get it that it could be nuts. Hello, Ophi Matrix, good to see you. Welcome, my friend. Drain the Swamp is here. Aaron Stack is here. Thank you, guys. Stacking Skier is here. What's happening? We're just chilling here. We're getting ready to check these markets again. There's a little bit of a... Tuesday night, silver squeeze watch we're having right here. Pri high premiums equals demand control. That's right. And uh, that's really what it boils down to. But it's also the way that supply and demand works. Because when something is in high demand, you know those premiums are going to go up for anything, no matter what it is. Jamie Foxx, we may not have time to do a scammer tonight. we got a lot of comments to go through here. We may if we get a little time later on, but we're doing a little bit of a Sort of a Tuesday night market watch. A little different than usual, but uh, anyway, so we'll see here. Yeah, silver's going extinct, says Coin Data Z. All right. Uh, based on gold to silver ratio to ounces mined, silver should be around $200 an ounce. But that's not the way to measure the way silver's going to go. The, 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 that's not how the market works. That has nothing to do with how silver should be priced. If you use that, if you, if you use that argument, that means platinum should be uh 15 times higher than gold dd smith uh dude 2.8 tons of gold found found fake in china a few months ago 14 banks is collateral oh i did a story on that dd smith um actually i did a story on that uh right about the time it happened i forget what the video is titled but i think it was something like that to that effect i covered that story yes i do i do remember that story and covered it on this channel Hello, Silver Queen Stacker. Good to see you. Stefan Grafham, good to see you. Joe Biden needs a diaper change. I must confess that I agree with that stop, uh, statement. Jonathan Evans says, here's a great way to wake people up. When selling items on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, we should be pricing it in cash and ounces in silver. Get the word out. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I mean, that'd be interesting to see how that would work. Good luck selling a um, piece of electronics. Somebody's like, how many ounces of silver? We're going to get that, you know? It might be tough to do if you don't do it other than cash. Hello, Four Knives Fine Silver. Good to see you, sir. Good morning. Good evening. Hope you're doing well, sir. Very, very good. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, Fabian T uh, can make a lot more money short uh, term with... U.S. MSO, such as Green Thumb Industries. I'm up 100% today. As G All right, very good. Nice. Uh, very good. And he's got 2,000 ounces of silver. Very good. Awesome. He's playing it smart. Fabi knows what he's doing, for sure. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Eminem 9911 says, Silver will drop to $15 an ounce by the end of February. Hold on. Now, that will be interesting to see if that happens. I know Silver Wolverine is predicting $17 silver. So you're not too far behind his prediction. We'll see. Could it crash to that? That would be a crash. That would be uh, that would be a dropped in half if that happens. All right. To the moon. Just got some more from JM Bullion. They've got sunshine rounds. Hold the line. Very good. Nicely done. You think it's going good now? Wait until the dollar is backed by gold. Make no mistake, it's coming. It'll blow you away. Hold that silver. I don't think that's going to be coming anytime soon. Uh, it's going to be backed by the blockchain before it gets backed by gold, um, sadly. Mark Twain, 
Uh, if it's too late to get in, I can respect the hustle, but all I saw at local coin shop when cashing in my coins was old farts and kids. Plus, the weight makes it impractical for pre prepper situation. Plus, the Wall Street bets and company will be taken down uh, by the SEC and its new rules. And we made further to help the risk. Tricky time for investors, no doubt. But they can't stop you from buying physical. But yes, I understand what you're saying. All right, let's see what this squeeze is happening. Is it still going on? Is uh, is it trying? Is it holding on tight again? Well, silver is is going up just a little bit more. It's a little bit more. Okay, four nines. I'll see if I can check it out here after this. Made a two ounce silver owl. Nice. I will check that out. Thank you, sir. All right. So silver is up. All the other metals are flat, save for gold is up a little bit there. So silver is trying to make a comeback slightly, though, out of the Asian markets. Alex Marchand says, TD Precious Metals is back online for sale, and they have Liberty Ounces for $50 Canadian. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Okay. And we've got uh, Rhett Birch. Man, I bought a, a bunch of silver last night when it was about $29 per ounce. Probably a dumb move. Oh, well, live and learn. All right. Well, um... You know, hey, you would have done good last night at that price, but, you know, crazy. Lenny Brewster, we're not buying silver, dude. That's a pump and dump from elsewhere. Nobody's squeezing silver. It's darn impossible. All right. And uh, Boone Sergeant, thank you for your service. The panic with the silver lies with it, its commodities used for green energy. How many of you noticed green energy stocks dropped? In my opinion, this is a result of sell of those companies to buy silver. Lows and fears of costs are going up. Solar, etc. all require silver. This did more than what people think because the silver is flying off the shelf. This put green energy in jeopardy of current contracts plus a short squeezing. Stay focused. Silver is going up and up. All right, we'll see what happens. It's got to be sustained. Coins A to Z. Just saw Jam is selling a new Egyptian god. Yes, I did see that. Uh, Osiris. Pretty cool indeed. And I cleaned my house since Sunday. Oh, man. Oh, I still got all my silver. Still got it all. But a lot of it's not stored here. Harry White. Everyone in this game has to assess the risk for themselves. The price will only go to $50 an ounce if there is someone willing to pay that amount, otherwise, it's worth less. The equilibrium is what the free market establishes. The term is price discovery. No one but the king can decree the value of something and then only by force. Yes. All right. Uh, Lewis Pagan says, completely agree on the paper stuff. It's not the same. But if we have some stocks, we should hold it and bring the price up. The price becomes reasonable regardless of the commodity is short or not. ASM is less than $2 right now. All right. Thank you, Lewis. All right. And yeah, moving up, we got Hot Potato. He says ASM is only $1.70, and it's a silver mining company. A silver short squeeze coming soon. This could easily double. Not the next GameStop, but the next best thing. It's got to be more sustained, and it's um, going to take a lot longer <laughs> for it to... It's not easy pickings like GameStop is. All right. We're Eagles Dale. The gold to silver ratio below 65 is bigger news than the price. Silver is now between the crash and now basically outperformed gold by a factor of two. Well, back when it was high, uh, at its high, it was almost at. You're right. Man, great video, brother. You explained things good. Well, thank you, AMRE. I appreciate that very, very much. And this... Are you Steve-O? Whoa, dude. Yeah, not as daring and not as beat up as he is. And I didn't do as many drugs as he did. I didn't do any. I haven't done any drugs. Except for coffee and an occasional beer here and there. Silver is real money and the earth is flat. All right. Well, I agree with the former, but not the latter. I'm a big proponent of a oblate spheroid earth. D.D. Smith, about four months ago... Almost got 500 ounce brick, but chose not to. Didn't want to end up with it on any radar. Could have cut it some, I suppose. Yeah, 
Yeah, 500 ounces. That's quite a lot of silver. Uh, the 1,000 ounce bricks are what are used in some of these contracts. But yes, indeed. All right. Very, very good. All right, let's get over here. Uh, C. Jezion says, miners or physical, only way to go. GDXJ is one I would buy individual miners. More risk, but bigger upside. All right, yep, that's some risky to it. And Cowboy Gold says, gold is way overvalued and too expensive. I suggest people buy silver because it is the most undervalued asset on earth. Forget about gold, not worth buying. I think he's being facetious, facetious on this statement there. Knowing Cowboy Gold. All right, Ross McLean says, keep stacking and stomping on the paper garbage. All right, very, very good. Only 91 likes. we got 400 viewers. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate that. Let's see if we can get the thumbs up to 90, 90. Oh, wait. We're past 90. Never mind. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Accumulating AU, I try to pull a full ounce of gold at a time. It keeps my premiums lower, and I look at it as my bi-monthly lesson in patience. There you go. Speaking of patience, he did not play the song by Guns N' Roses on his most recent video. Instead, he whipped out some Morbid Angel, Trey Azagoth. Oh my goodness gracious. Crazy. Some Trey Azagoth on the Accumulating AU channel. Brent Hardenberg. Remember this from Atmex when you decide to buy from them again. And pretty much every other dealer out there as well. Uh, Wild Turkey 38. So today I got a notice of the release of Egyptian Gods. Yes, not bad. $35 an ounce for two ounce rounds. I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet, but... I think I, I have all of them except for that one. All right, very good. And we got Colonic Stacker. Sunday PM live stream had so many in chat and all I could really do now is throw an occasional insult in New Mexico. All right, very good. All right, have, having a little fun. All right. The truth never told. It says, here comes hell on earth, best know Jesus, and the King James Version of the Bible. So we know he's not the other... Um, Truth never told, but thank you. All right, very good. Uh, Spuzz says, totally fake news. Wall Street beats are advocating against buying silver. I covered that. I covered that in another video. Probably should have linked to it in this video because I got a lot of comments about it, but I already covered all that. All right, let's see here. Morbid bunghole, that's right. Morbid bunghole, says Colonic Sacker. Betty Grable, supply and demand. I do believe that it will hit 47 on Friday and physical will hit... 65, 1965. Well, uh, it didn't happen, and I don't think it's going to happen at this point. I think some of these people, whether or not they're coming from Reddit, Wall Street bets, or what have you, I'm going to learn the hard way that it's not easy to do that with silver um, um, to get it to go parabolic like this. Tom Brown, Wall Street bets group, is not doing this. It's a hedge fund companies and their friends and the media. Do not believe the media hype. Look at the page. They're not buying silver. They just keep holding a game stock stock. The companies are doing it to make up their losses and short funds. And I've covered that and uh, for sure. And there could be something to it. We'll see. I don't know. If we get enough, Musk and others will be begging us for it. Hold on to it, says Private Pilot. Yes. The physical is really where it's at. That's how to uh, really set the squeeze on it. That's how to set the squeeze. Derek, the limo driver, says, my dealer sold me 8 to 10 bucks above spot price, about 38 to 40 per ounce today. Did I get ripped? Um, uh, that's about what normal people are paying these days, sadly. All right, native. All right, 30, 396 watching. Appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate all the new viewers. Private Pilot says, holding silver will pay you more than your savings account will. So I drain my savings account, purchase silver. At least it has for me. I would not have done that. Um, because you don't know what silver is going to do. In fact, by the time you posted that video, if you bought silver at that price, and then today it's down to under 27 or at 27, where is, is it right now? You just lost a bunch of money. I hope that's not the case. I hope you didn't do that. But anyways, it's always good to have some cash on hand, folks. Yes, the phrase of 2021, diversify your wealth. Indeed. Silver's now up 22 cents, so it's climbing just slightly here in the Asian markets. Chuck Diesel, just keep stacking and hodl. It'll come. All right. 
just keep stacking and hot on. We're frozen here on the front lines of insanity. Insane in the membrane. Yes, wipe a booger on that like button indeed. I'd appreciate that. Man, we are... All right, we'll look at the markets again here. Looks like rhodium uh, recovered as some of its losses here. It's now uh, 20000 again. 18000 for the ask. Crazy. Boy, I hope I don't have to refer... Oh, there's the V's back. Son of a motherless goat. Thought I'd gotten rid of that. I don't know what causes that. My V is not stuck, so I don't know why that's happening. But I think it's because I load too many comments and I come down to the bottom and scroll up. And we may have to... I may have to redo this thing again. Crap. I hate when this happens. I'm going to have to refresh this again. So they're going to scroll all the way back down here to the bottom again. We barely just tipped the iceberg of these comments. But it's going to have to happen here. So there's what these markets are. They are into overdrive. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, let's, let's see here. You know what? While we are waiting for that disaster... Like a long running script or something. I don't know what's going on there. Let's look at these markets. Let's see if we can get this guy on the phone here. Where are we at? Let me find it here. Oh, where are we at here? Try to find. I've got to find the number here. Part, just bear with me for a moment, guys. I got a new phone, so I've got to try to. It's a little bit different than my other phone. Where are we at here? Um. Okay, here we go. Alan, trying to call Alan again. We are going to be funding the silver short squeeze here. Hello, this is Alan with Core Funding. Sorry, Mr. Call. Please go ahead and leave me a detailed message, and I will get back oh, to you. Oh, come on, Alan. Time. Thank you. Alan, you told me you would be there. You're not there. Molecule will never, he won't call back. He called back yesterday, too, at the most inopportune time. Man, it sucks. Short squeeze, squeeze that like button. Yeah, there you go. Squeeze that like button. Oh, man. Let's see here. Okay. No dice there. Do we have our comments back? We do. Okay. Hopefully we are in good this time. We'll get back down to the bottom where we are at. And let's, um, so yeah, so the market, silver is trying to keep its head above water. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's um, making a slight bounce back. Well, it's not bouncing back. It's just trying to crawl out of a hole that it had today. It's crazy. But that's to be expected. It's a volatile. And uh, you have to be tough if you're going to do try to do something like this, some of these people. And so that's why we've got to walk on down to Electric Avenue here. I'm going to get these comments. Boy, I tell you what. Yeah, Molecule, I talked to him the other day. He was talking dirty to me, uh, coins A to Z. It was really vulgar. Uh, I was hoping he would do it, but his shift must end before my live stream starts. If I'm ever able to record the conversation, I would do it. But anyways, let's get down here. Let's get down on these comments here. So got a ways to go. So everybody, uh, let's play a little game and see how if we can get you to paid. I will match the single best largest super chat between now and 6:45. Whoa! Did you hear that, guys? Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, no, he's never called while I was taking a dump, uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. So Fabian T has just issued a challenge. Uh, this is amazing. He said that he will match the single largest super chat between now and 645. That is something else. Um, and uh, so that means if somebody gives me a super chat of $200, then, uh, then, um, then Fabian T would match that. That's crazy. Hello, Paul Baker. Good to see you. By the way, Paul, 
Good to see you. I haven't seen you on here since uh, that Sunday night that I bought that gold. When you left and you said don't buy it because gold was going to go down, I made the purchase and gold dropped uh, 15 bucks. So you were right. It did recover that loss the next day, but uh, I was like, man, Paul was right on that. All right. Silver Honda's here. Silver Honda is going to make whoopee to Mrs. Silver Honda before she raises her premiums. As Casey Casey would say, keep your feet in the silver and keep reaching for the gold. All right. There you go. All right. Spread a little of that around. Just love out there to uh, for me to, for, to Mrs. Silver Honda. Thank you, Silver Honda. Check out his latest fishing video. Check out Silver Honda's channel. He's done post some good videos. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. So yeah, so um, so Fabian, very kind of you to make that offer. I have a feeling you're not going to go bankrupt. I have a feeling you won't have to pay anything. There's not any takers on that challenge there. Uh, all right, very good. The single largest super chat, Fabian will match it no matter what it is. It's crazy. I think the maximum is two hundred dollars, but it may be more. I don't know. So anyways. Between now and 6.45. Well, that's three minutes from now, so there's not a whole lot. Hey, the Numismatic King is here. Not a lot of time for that match to occur. Uh, ooh, man. Oh, man, so Fortnite is going to pour a one ounce of gold. Yeah, not looking good for this thing. We've got uh, two minutes before the challenge ends. Fabian will match the highest Super Chat from now until 6.45, which is two minutes from now. All right, there we go. D.D. Smith has done five. So we know that Fabian will pay at least five. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. I have detected in the past. I've got a metal detected, but I don't detect. Um, uh, I've got, uh, what do you call that thing? A um, Oh, what is that? It's not a white. It um, starts with a G. Uh, Garrett. I got a Garrett 250. Ace 250 or something. No suckers. I tried. No takers. All right. Got one. I got two minutes left for Super Chats. Um. Yeah, everybody's too broke to, for the yeah, for the forty-two dollars silver eagles to, for the for that, but uh, we're, we're seeing what goes on here. All right, he's going to extend it to six fifty p.m. All right, very kind of him. Nice. All right, very good. So anybody wants to, to do it, we'll see here. Two is one is here. Good to see you. two is one. He posted a good video about silver today. All right. Yes, indeed. So the Super Chat match by Fabian T is on. So far, we've got $5 being matched. So we'll see what happens there with that. Is anybody other takers? To test Fabian. Ooh, let's see what anybody can test Fabian. Make him bankrupt. Whew, man. Crazy, crazy. As we get down here to the nearing, getting closer to the bottom while we do that, because I've got I've to scroll down here. It takes a little while to do it. So, um, and my browser locks up, and if I get too many of these things loaded, so I may have to stop at some point here to do this. But any other challenges? So far, he just has to pay $5 to match the $5 one. He's going to have it easy tonight here. Silver Heist is here. Good to see Silver Heist. Yes, indeed. The one and the only, Silver Heist. Uh, as I get here to the bottom of these comments, we're getting closer. There it is. All right. There's the V. All right, two is one. Two is one. He did another $5, so he matched the other one. So there you go. Thank you, two is one. All right, Sylvester says, Marcus don't reflect value silver at 37 and going up very soon, very quickly. Well, that's just it. The silver is down, but the premiums are still up. Um, silver at 27, my LCS was selling them for 40. So go figure. Go Buccaneers, says Silver Honda. Yes, indeed. I'm rooting for the Buccaneers just because Silver Honda is. All right. Abraham says they got to keep cranking the demand until they have no alternative but to turn those thousand ounces Comex over commercial bars into volume products. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. So far, we got five minutes left on the on um, Fabian's. I think should have pinned that comment. I should have pinned that comment. Can you say that comment again, Fabian? And I'll pin it so people see it. It's a match. Fabian will match there. There we go. All right. Stacking Stormtrooper is here. He didn't get the match. Yeah, the rules of the match is, is the highest. The highest. Um, um, he will match the top two Super Chats uh, at 6.50 p.m. Thank you so much, Fabian. There it is. He's going to match the top two Super Chats. 
appreciate that. And thank you, Stacking Stormtrooper, for your for you being here, my friend. And you had a good auction the other night, I understand. You guys check out check out Stacking Stormtrooper. And oh, that's the right one. That's it. Thank you. Stacking Stormtrooper is going to be doing his auctions, everybody, on Sundays at 5 p.m., I think. I think that was gonna start them. Uh, that time may float, but I think it's somewhere around there. So you guys check it out. Oh, whoa, there it is. Very good. Dee Dee Smith, appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be having a giveaway for the chicks, for the ladies here, uh, with um, Silver Heist uh, soon, probably. Um, yes, indeed. So stay tuned for that. But thank you, Dee Dee Smith. Appreciate it. All right. Extended to 6.55 p.m. So far, $10 is the top one now from Dee Dee Smith. Very kind of you. All right. All right, uh, Manish Shakja says, I want I want to invest in silver for the long term, but it is wise. But is it wise to buy at this moment? The price is extremely high. I would say probably not wise to buy at this moment. I wouldn't. Um, but you should buy it after the hype dies down is what I'm saying. Uh, when they're affordable again. Manipulation, U.S. dollar up today, big, 49 cents. When you can't bench press that amount of silver that you own, you're done stacking. All right. There you go. That's the thing. Whoa, two is one. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, 6 p.m. on Sundays, okay? Two is one. Wow. Wow, very kind of you, sir. $25. Man, two is one. Thank you so much, my friend. Yes, yes, indeed. All right. Wow, very kind of you, sir. Man. So he's got the top one so far. He's going to match the top two Super Chats, Fabian will. Yeah, y'all be careful now. That's enough. We want to be easy with the Fabian. I think that's about it. All right. It's, uh, we've got two minutes anyway left, so my guess is that's... But thank you, two is one. That's very, very kind of you. Hugh Man says, never bought silver from Atmex. Premiums are way too high. They used to have reasonable premiums on some gold, but that is changing now. If you want platinum from an online dealer, I suggest Liberty Coin. I'm through with Atmex. Uh, Atmex does still get some good deals from time to time. Uh, it's like a convenience store that has everything. Um, and you're going to pay a very high premium for a lot of stuff. But once in a while, they'll have specials. Sometimes you see them um, on the uh, on eBay, too. Um, but they'll have sales from time to time. Stack Control Trooper got it. The Mini Troopers need attention. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stack Control Trooper. So his will be on... Um, his uh, live sh his auctions are at 6 p.m. on uh, Sunday nights now. They moved. All right. All right, very good. Appreciate you guys being here. Okay, let's move on up here. Uh, SIG 26226, Precious Metals are the original hedge fund. There you go. That's right. We're hedging with these funds. That's exactly right. And again, you're, I'm hoping Silver's Moons, while the other metals don't, uh, I'd like to sell some and get more platinum and gold. Yes, I understand that sentiment for sure. All right. Heck you. Now, that was a great silver sneeze. Watch that we're doing right now. That was a great silver sneeze. And the ratio to gold and silver is now hovering around 68.95, getting closer to that 70 mark. But silver is up, but it's pulling back a little bit from its, um, its uh, earlier climbs. I think it got up to... Uh, 22 cents up and now it's back down to just 17 cents up so it's holding on there it's holding on all right it's 650 now so it looks like that is over um looks like that is over so i'll take that down fabian thank you so much and you don't have to have to do that i just appreciate you very much being here all you guys but thank you so much guys all right very very good ah okay wipe my screen off yeah exactly so there, silver's up a little bit. Uh, it's a, it's trying to keep its head above water. We'll see what happens. Could that be another uh, movement into trying to get the silver squeeze on? We'll see here. We'll find out. It's going to take a lot more than just a couple of days of doing it, though. Brian Smythe says, I don't care about all the hype. I just keep doing what I've been doing for the last few years. Just keep plugging away, buying any fractional gold and a few ounces of silver every fortnight. There you go. Okay, Brian He's he's got it. He's rock solid with it for sure. Oh, it's been extended to 655. All right. All right. Uh, Fabian is going to match any super, the highest two super chats um, uh, until 655. So that's four minutes from now. Very, very kind of you, sir. So 
if you if you um, if um if you're still interested in doing that, the the highest one we have now is twenty five dollars and then ten dollars. So uh, those are the two top ones that he'll match. Um, somebody, yeah. So there you go. Good evening, Highlander Stack, and good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing Silver Squeeze, baby, indeed. Paul D. In a few weeks, we'll see twenty five, twenty six dollars Silver Eagles sale. You're right. Yep, that's right. Well, it looks like it won't last. This may be the beginning of the end of it. We'll see. The Guam Stacker, I'm definitely thinking about taking advantage of the GSR, the gold to silver ratio. Understandable. All right. Very, very good. Alfredo Ramirez says, my stupid butt bought 30 ounces of silver yesterday. Wow. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. I hear you, brother. Well, just hang on to it. You know what I mean? Just hang on to it. Hopefully in time, it'll pay off, but we'll see here. Roger Buddy, Budney, today I saw some physical silver generic rounds at a store for sale. They said that they were on sale for 33 bucks a generic silver round. Silver Eagles are 39. Yes, wow. Oh, Highlander, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Proud of your bullion. Yes, thank you, my friend. A fist bump. You are the man. I appreciate that, sir. Mm. Ah. Take another slurp of coffee here. Thank you, Highlander. Okay, we got two minutes left for the um, challenge from uh, Fabian T. He's going to match the two top super chats of the night. $25 is the amount to beat from the one and the only two is one. Uh, fake and Naaman. I remember when 17 felt expensive, then 20 felt expensive, then 24 felt expensive. Now $40 per ounce. It's pretty darn expensive. Crazy. All right. And we've got Glenn H. saying, You're right, the spread is big news. This could just be temporary. What about the premiums of Silver Eagles? That's big news, too. That's true. It's pretty big. But you know what? We've seen those Eagles go up before, but I've not, I've never seen or noticed, anyway, the spread between the bid and uh, the spot price. But thank you, Glenn H. Betty Grable, they have fooled us once with paper. We want the real thing in our hands. Thank you very much. That's right. The real thing. I'm going to remember. If I see a previous comment, I'm just going to... Respond to it once. The spread of gold and silver has become an equal one dollar. Uh, yes, that's right. That's where it's one to one is in the spread. That's right. All right. Very very good. And moving on up. Global Bitcoin knockoff coin. There you go. Exactly. Tax taxes, and I may have to pay taxes of mine because I think um, I think uh, Coinbase taxes you. Maybe Ed from Freedom Force USA was right three years ago. Silver stackers are being scammed. Huh? Maybe. We shall see. I wonder what he's up to these days. Master Stacker says, My average ASC cost was 17 bucks. Today, the premium alone is $12. Crazy to think about it, isn't it? Jay Debu wipes his butt with paper silver. Yes, indeed. David Dahl says, have not even listened to this. With all due respect to Mrs. Tubman and her brave accomplishments, i got to say no. P.S. Please do not ever consider Trump either his profile or Silver Rounds makes for one ugly coin. Again, um, yes. Yeah, it's hard to uh, get Trump's uh, image accurately on a coin without it looking kind of dorky. Mike from Washington. Yes, I remember when the $40 point was hit with silver and then 50 And everybody was saying $50 was the new 20 That didn't work as, out as predicted. That's right, exactly. That's why I'm cautious about it. All right, there, Fabian. All right, there we go. Very kind. Fabian has now matched the three, the top three. He matched the top three. Thank you so much, my friend. $45. He did it for two as one. Trooper and Dee Dee. Thank you so much, Fabian. A man of his word. Very kind of you indeed. All right. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you. That was a great challenge for sure. Wow. That was something else. Very cool. All right. Thanks again, Fabian. Appreciate you, brother. L. Pandy, 21, says, yes, the video was useful and entertaining. I was indeed entertained. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. L. Pandy, 48,000 views. Thank you, Ray. Very fortunate. Just, I think that was just a stroke of luck. I usually don't do this. Just happened to be the right place at the time, but thank you so much. Yes, that's right. Brought to me by Fabian. Thanks, Carlos Danger. Thank you again, Fabian. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. Eddie Jones, I don't feel excited 
have taken many years to build a position and see many ups and downs, getting excited about silver only to be beat back, has sober me from the giddiness and premature celebrations. I'm not in the market to sell anyway, so wake me up after the champagne and hangovers. Been there, done that. Yes, indeed. I understand. Totally understand. All right, David, wait till the crash at market under Biden and you will see it spike. All right. Well, just as you show you how quickly things can change for sure. All right. Very good. And uh, King Neutron, if this lasts more than a week or two at most, I will be extremely surprised. Well, King Neutron, 18 hours later, uh, looks like you and I would have been in the same boat because it didn't last long. I'm kind of surprised that, it, that, it, that it's, well, if the, um, I'm kind of surprised that it um, um, stopped when it did. If this is indeed the end, this may not be the end. I don't know. Uh, this could be a pause. His analysis on gold and silver pros explains what is going on with the ceiling of $30 pressure by the big dog investment banks and the paper future silver market. Poured over 311,000 contracts in the short side. 5,000 out in the max worth of 1.5 billion ounces of silver, which is a massive amount of historical basis. Is a downside of SLV? Yes, and I've heard stuff like that coming from the COMEX and CME. But a lot of that stuff doesn't pan out either. But yes, there well could be some pressure from that side too. Thank you, Jason. All right. David Dahl. These premiums are outright theft. If it can be done, it cannot be kept support. Well, and the thing is, the premiums, you don't have to participate. It's only theft if you let them take from you. You ain't right. J Johnson Matthew, 100 ounce of a bar. Is this a serious analytical video? Thank you. That's the point I had a little fun in. I forget exactly what I said. Uh, more than likely, it was just have a little bit of fun. David Dahl, all right. Why is a premium that rises? Jason Bourne, so I'm a little distracted. By then, entranced by those. DiMargio double humbucker pickups. There's Seymour Duncan, yes. Uh, the fine musical instrument behind the piece of gold. A new definition of the term shredding with that guitar pick. He has at least played a few arpeggios from hell to break his 24 karat cherry. And to shed some 24 karat gold from it too, right? Yes, this is the video that I really wanted to go viral, but it didn't. The 24 karat gold guitar pick video. I really wanted that one to go viral, but oh well. But he liked it. Jason liked it. This is one of my favorite SM videos yet. Next to the 100 ounce videos. Well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, Jason. Go Silver says Eddie Jones. All right. We're rooting for it. Okay. Let's see here. Terry is rooting for Silver, too. She's always, she's, she's my Silver Tea Leader. Ozzy Alchemist is here. Good to see Ozzy Alchemist. 439 Tab. I finally got to sell some silver at $30. Went to the local coin shop and they sold generics for $29.50 per ounce. And Silver Eagles are $31.50. That's a good deal. Mine's selling them for 40 bucks. ASMM about to jump over $10 at the moment, too. is a great buy. All right. Very, very good. John W., I need the stimulus now. You see, I purchased a little gold this week, and I need to cover my checking account loss. Very interesting prospect. The founder looks to be Doogie Hauser of Mining. Those young kids, can you really trust them? Blue thumbs up. Thanks. Thank you so much, John W. You are the man. All right. Uh, what did Abraham Lincoln say? He said, don't believe everything you read on the internet. That was a direct quote. All right, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, CCT. Appreciate that. PayPal donation. And the PayPal donations, um, uh, they um, I don't get charged tax or, um, and also don't, YouTube takes fees from the Super Chat. So appreciate that. Thanks, CCT. And check out CCT's channel. Appreciate that. You guys are great. All right, Aloha Stacker. I got me some explorers, miners, and physical, and I'm very bullish. All right, there you go, Aloha. Aloha Stacker is the man. Okay. Don't drag this out. Don't want to drag this out. That's right. Great video says Rust Bucket Revival. That's right. Totally fabricated market, says Alan Tan. The band is just replicated from the Reddit rally. Thank you, Alan, for your thoughts on this one. Very cool coin. 44 BC, wish I had something like that. Yes. Man, it would be cool to own a piece of history like that. Pretty crazy. All is one now is here. He posted a link as well to the PayPal. Thank you, All is one now. Hope you're doing well. You should see All is one now posted a really cute video recently, by the way, of a of a 
of a really intimidating hunter dog out there. You got to check it out. All right, very good. Dove down, match my push-ups. All right, nice. I haven't done any push-ups yet tonight, but... Uh, UKMHT says, sell silver on eBay, problem solved. But you got to pay 13% on what you sell. And Brian Hoover says, you can look at it from a different way. This from others, it's an opportunity for those less fortunate. Yes. All right. And Aaron Hayes says, based on both... Uh, what I saw in my LCS today and where silver is headed with currency printing and green energy, I see liquidity being a non-issue. I see the opposite being far more likely. It's going to get extremely pricey and hard to come by at some point. That's true. It could work. It's strange how the market is. Um, but yeah, it, you, it could be that case. And I think I, we'll see how the demand uh, plays out in the next week. Here. Numismatic King was here. The great Numismatic King. He's the man. All right. Capital Currency, good to see you. Welcome. William Davis is here. Jonathan West is here. Thank you. There's hope for us all, says. What's the number of deaths from COVID-19 starts to fall? Uh, a lot every day, which is starting to do that now in America at some point. Won't the price of silver fall back? Not necessarily. I may make an argument that could go up because of increased demand from, an, from a recovering economy. But... Um, you know, we'll see, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Richard Delo, Lado, today's high prices are tomorrow's bargain prices. That's right. Uh, potentially, that's right. Uh, why fix something that isn't broken? Sales will drop for the new gold and silver eagles. We shall see. Let's see what we've got here. Right, Vogus is here. Hello, Vogus. How you doing? Good to see Vogus. Long time no see. We're always... Happy to see Vogus is here. And Silver Drill Pickle is here. All right. Very good to see Silver Drill Pickle. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. Silver Drill Pickle. No more Super Jets. You haven't done well. I, I, I should just give you a couple push-ups uh, at no charge. I'll do that. I'll give some Silver Drill Pickle a couple push-ups here at no charge. The Guam Stacker. Greetings, Sal. Thanks for the good info. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Let's do one more before the push-ups. Alexander says, seems like nobody actually understands how silver works at all. Do you people actually think buying physical silver is smart? Do you understand that it's near impossible to sell silver after you attain it? No person will trust your random silver. No shop is going to give you market value. Instead, they will hit you with a 25% devaluation. Well, it just depends on the market. Today, my LCS was would give me a dollar thirty-five over spot for generics, for just generics. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Cowboy Gold's uh, precious silver fell out of the sky. So Cowboy Gold is going to change his name to Cowboy Silver because he is bullish on silver, guys. Yes, indeed, as he posted in the comment earlier. That's funny. All right, very good. Now, nah, we know he's kidding. He's kidding, but it's fun. It's fun. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> All right, let's get a couple push-ups for Silver Drill Pickle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Ah. All right, 27s. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this dude's channel. Here it is. All right, it is uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher's channel. Check out Cyber Curtain Twitcher. He posted a link to his channel. You should definitely subscribe to his channel. He's a good guy. All right, very good. Blue with the fake. Donald with the fake. Fake push-ups. Dang it. Can't get any... There's no way I can convince those guys. I tried, but anyways... Okay, let's see here. Getting in on high premiums, that's right. I know I don't know. I think I think Cowboy Gold loves silver almost as much as Terry does. We've turned the corner, that's right. There you go, silver drill pickle free push ups, yes indeed. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I felt pretty good to do this a little quicker tonight. I don't want to bore people with counting. Uh Scott's uh 
Scott Short Scrap says, as the values of precious metals rise, our paper money value falls. Everyday expenses require paper dollars. And just as we think we are getting value on the holdings, we are fooled into a situation of robbing ourselves by allowing more of our daily needs to be siphoned away to the future. The high premiums are a good indicator of the trap you mentioned here. Also, there are so many derivatives and angles that silver is leveraged worldwide. So, for so many reasons, mostly industrial needs control the prices of these metals. I agree. And that has especially been true, really, especially since 2011. We've seen that manifest itself. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Devo says, well, silver has been kept low on purpose all this time. But see, I disagree with that. I don't, I, I think the natural market forces play a much larger role in that. But it's not Reddit that drives the price up. That's just fake news created by media. Avalanche, time is no short squeeze. People have realized Citadel owns a large chunk of silver. I thought JP Morgan did. And has been telling people not to pile on SLV or physical silver. The vendors are just taking advantage by pumping up premiums. All right, very good. All right, Matt. Matt Ghosted, thank you so much. New to your channel, and I appreciate your content. But how do we know if you're actually doing push-ups? Well, Matt, um, the best way to tell, I don't always turn on the camera, but if you go to uh, Sunday night's live stream, uh, you will see um, that I turn the camera on. I've done it in the past, but it's just too much trouble to turn the camera on. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've done that. Plus, I've got a mess behind me, and it's just crazy. All right. There he goes. ECP's got a, his auction on Thursday night. He's got a lot of silver at 8 p.m. Uh, silver Drip Pickle, no. Tricky is mad at me, but he, Tricky is still around. He posted on uh, All Is One Now's uh, channel, but Tricky is still there, but he is mad at me for um, because he thinks, because I don't believe in market manipulation so he's mad at me so he's he's boycotting my channel but uh uh let's see here yeah exactly i, I agree cowboy it's saying why is it just when it goes down why is why is it not manipulation when it goes up i just it it just doesn't play out and i do think there's a lot of different forces at play like i talked about in today's video but but um it's it's but the thing is is there's just it's the manipulation can work in both ways, and I believe in micro manipulation, where people do it for their self interest within organizations, but not a cabal of a, of a manipulation that occurs between organizations in order to suppress the price. I don't think I think the I think I think the the market is too broad for them to do that. Um, I don't think they can, um, and. Uh, but we'll see. Just like these people trying to buy all the silver now, they're finding it very difficult. They're finding it very difficult to squeeze the price of silver. Because you think about it, is it a squeeze when we've been at $30 silver um, just within the last year? Is that really a squeeze? Um, and now that's gone. It's puffed up in the wind. So anyways. All right. Buy silver and hold. There we go. Buy silver and hold. Yeah, I gotta follow the script. That's right. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Manipulate this, says Donald New Mexico. Yes, indeed, exactly. All right. Hold steady, don't sell. That's right. Well, and I that's one thing. I'm that's probably at a fault of mine. I've 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 hold on to everything. Um and, and part of the reason is since I have it spread out, it's kind of hard. Well, I mean, you know, I can get to some of it relatively easily, but if I really want to, if, if I had it just right here, I'd go and take it to sell it. Well, it's gone, but I've, it's probably to a fault where, where I hold on to things. Okay. Rick Blick. That raised minimum wage to $15 federal, all kinds of costs is going up. And that devalues a dollar 50%. And minimum wage is seven fifty, so everything is going to go up, all commodities, inflation, <laughs> inflation, inflation. Yeah, what they did with the minimum wage is they raised the minimum wage for all federal employees and contractors. So in other words, the federal minimum wage does not apply to McDonald's or Walmart or um, any other private institution or any state government jobs. 
It's only the contractors that are hired by the federal government or federal government employees. Um, just so you understand, it's not, it's not meaning that that's an executive order signed by Biden. It does not mean that the minimum wage is law. Uh, Reddit is starting to sound like Facebook, too much BS and fake news, so toxic. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation everywhere, uh, for sure. And there's no shortage of it pretty much everywhere, you know. It's hard to really make out uh, what, uh, what is it? Eric Peterson, great guitar player from Testament. I bought silver. Did I lose money? Um, it depends on when you bought it. Uh, technically, you won't lose until you sell it. So in other words, if you bought a Silver Eagle for $40 when silver is trading at $27 with great demand and you have an LCS that will pay you $35 for it, which is, you know, six, seven dollars over spot and you bought it at $40, you're losing five dollars off the bat. Um, so it's when you sell it, when you lose it. Um, so I would just be careful if you bought it, I would just hold on for on to it for a while. You may need it to hold on for it for quite a while because silver would literally have to get up to at least $40 for you to get that money back right now. Okay, CCT, uh, Silver Wolverine, I might just make pro buying silver $40 plus. Yeah, wow. Monty, appreciate the content. I'm just holding until the dust settles. Best I can do is buy smart with a reasonable dip. There you go, brother. Understandable, wise move. Wise move. Well, again, it all boils down to understanding what you buy. You know, if you really feel like you can go with the risk of paying, you know, um, you know, 30, 40, 50% premium on Silver Eagles and you think it's going to pay off or you're going to hold them for 10 years or something like that, by all means, I wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. But as long as you understand what you're doing and understanding the potential losses you'll have, well... There it is. Um, okay, let's see here. I play this at 1.25 speed. Yes, ECP, I did mention that auction when you said it last time on Thursdays at 8. Very good. All right. Okay, thank you so much, Fabian T. Appreciate it, sir. Thanks for being here. I feel better, Native. Yes, Native. I didn't know you were not feeling well. All right, all right, Native Stacker, I hope you feel better, my friend. Thanks for being here, sir. I do hope you feel better. Pray, I'm praying for you, my friend. There you go, Eric, Eric Peterson. Wise move. Just hold on to it for a while. There you go. A gentle Men's Channel. If the drive don't last, I will pray from uh, you generally from the heart. God bless Comas. God bless Wall Street. God bless Fed Band, the Reddit. I will want artificial activities taken over. I don't care. I'm selfish. And this is how it's going to happen. If I need, I will do what it takes. All right. All right, there you go. Thank you. Jay, 100 ounces bars at a JM Bullion go now. They will be gone fast also. They have inexpensive rounds. All right, well, inexpensive, what does that mean? Um, it may be cheaper than anybody else. I don't know. But if just because Bullion Dinner is cheaper than anybody else and they have a... 15% premium on generic, that's still not normal, still very high. So be careful. That's all I'm saying. All right. Shout out Molly. Who's Molly? All right. Who's Molly? Don't know who Molly is. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Joe C says, you don't understand the difference between the spread and liquidity. Uh, well, I just talked about it in this video, Joe. You have to watch the video. I talked about the spread and liquidity. Amber Hagelstein. I hate clutter. What I do is sell miscellaneous things I don't use or need anymore. Then I take that money and buy more gold. There you go. More collectible. Silver. In my opinion, if you can't hold it physically, you don't own it. That's right. Good, wise move. Wise move. Who is this Molly? Tyler is here. Hello, Tyler. And Justin Gill says, let's play this game. Keep buying up all the silver, buy it, and then they can't um, have it to do what you think the price of silver will go to. If there's none to be found, let's keep buying silver, please. It's hard to read these uh, run-on sentences. I don't know where the period starts or where the, something begins. That's what she said. 
Who is Molly? Somebody tell me who this Molly is. Oh my goodness gracious. You are playing games with me. And let's get back. Let's see what's going on here with the markets. What is the markets doing now? Is silver going to pull its head above water here? All right. It's up 21 cents, up 0.79%. $27.19. It's above. Uh, oh, Molly Hatchet. Molly Hatchet. Molly and Ma. Molly. Okay. Mommy and a life. Okay. Okay. Molly uh, was here before I said I was in bad weather in Dublin. Okay. Oh, I see Molly now. Okay. Hello, Molly. Good to see you. Hello, Molly. Eric is here. Okay, very good. All right, there she is. Okay. Well, welcome. Hello. Sorry, like I said, if I don't see you guys in here, or if I'm, it's kind of a busy night tonight, so I'm going to miss some people, miss what people uh, um, uh, say, so I apologize if I don't see. If you want to get my attention, just type my name out um, exactly like it is. With no space, salivate metal, and it'll show up red, and I'll see it. But hello to Molly. Hello to VT Ryder. Numismatic King is still here with a numismatic update. Tyler is here. Good to see you. All right. Very good. Roger Roach is here. Good to see you guys. All right. So the metals are up just slightly. Just slightly. Okay. Very good. Mark Nordgaard, what did I say? A very short squeeze and silver's crashing back to start. Um, well, yep. And I thought it would too. I, I said it wouldn't last in that video. And, but I, I also say it with some caution. I said this could be the end of the, be uh, the beginning of the end, but it could turn around again. Don't, 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 uh, don't write it. Don't write the obituary on this yet. Just dropped the 50 cents from the dollar ask bid. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see what the spread looks like now. Good good thinking, Mike. Let's see. Okay, so the there it is. Um, the spread did drop 50 cents between silver and gold. So things are somewhat normalizing now. Uh, okay, very good. Okay, let's see here. Olaf the Mighty says, The stupid squeeze only made premiums higher and took gold down with the sell-off. Thanks a lot, Reddit. Yes. 50 cent spread now. Uh, yes, shout out your mom. There you go, Numismatic King. You can shout out your mom. <laughs> Spectacular. Let's take a good look at the spread. That's what she said. That's right, exactly. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, thank you. Dove Devo Dow match my push-ups. Thank you. Shout out to Numismatic King's mom. Yes, indeed. Numis Numi's mom's got it. Got has got it going on. I I just know it. I'm. I bet she's a hottie. Silver is crumbling down a day after its highest gain since 2012. That's right. Here we go. And fed up 1965 Lucy Goosey. This will take time. Local dealer out. But has order coming in two weeks. Eventually, there will be a strain on supply. Then the paper will burn, baby, burn, baby, burn. Isn't that a song? All right. And let's see here. JF says, I can't wait for my silver to skyrocket so I can sell to someone at a huge premium based on fear. There you go. Then pay off my car. Then buy more silver when it tanks. There you go. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. And that's just it. Um... If you're smart, you'll sell your silver at a high premium too. Um, uh, you know, if people are going to buy it, why not? All right. All right. Spectacular. Did you see the clip where the new White House press secretary said that Biden has a small package? <laughs> no, I did not see that. Oh, oh, my gosh. I'd like to see that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Let's see here. I did not see that. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see here. Above and below. Well, it looks like it was right. All media BS. All right. Kalonic Stacker says, Amid turmoil in the markets, we took the great corn holio as a calming force. That's right. Calming force, the great corn holio. Okay. CJ Visconti, the best prices are the most honest company to buy from from his gold line. 
With that being said, don't be fooled about the silver going up. Stay objective. Don't get caught up emotionally in a frenzy. That's right. We need to try to be as objective as possible. And no one can really be 100% objective, but we try our best. At least we're trying our best here. Silver Institute, uh, look past Reddit silver volatility fundamentals and drive silver to $35 an ounce. Yeah. That's kind of where I think it's going to uh, be this year, probably, around. Um, that's right. That's right. Silver Wolverine, silver will never tank. Uh, keep them bozos think it's going to $1,000 and boom. Um, silver will drop the end. Okay, ECP, yeah, I appreciate if you don't um, uh, keep deleting people's comments. Okay. Yeah, just kind of hang loose. You're getting a little trigger happy with this deleting of those comments. All right. Nosmatic says, can we get the Comex to zero already? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. This is my warning to new investors of silver video. I think we're just going to pass that one. All right, all right. My kitten is a black belt. Uh, still waiting for prices to drop. I'm definitely not buying Silver Eagles right now. Smart guy. Smart guy. Don't buy at these prices. Um, uh, yeah, ECP off color is okay. This is a free speech zone. As long as we're not, um, as long as people aren't, um, 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 I mean, I'm off color. Goodness gracious. I, I'd say some pretty crude things. As long as we're not insulting each other, I mean, calling each other crazy names and stuff like that. Um, I like to keep this kind of a free speech area. People can post and, and you know, you know, I mean, want to be somewhat reasonable and not go too crazy with it. But uh, uh, we don't want to be too prudish here either. You know what I mean? All right. Thank you. All right. There you go. Daniel Armanda. Um, uh, Amanda R. Good to see you. Keep telling the masses watching. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Let's explore the way you said it. Love it, pal. Thanks, Long John Silver. Appreciate that. We do like to explore here. All right. Oh no, he was complimenting. I said something about Numi's mom, but I was, I was, uh, I was, um, I was joking around with Numi's Man King. But it was, it was in good fun. They were talking about what I was talking about. Uh Silver Surfer says, expected the price would drop, but watch the premiums remain high. Yeah, that's right. The premiums will stay high as long as there's big demand for silver. We saw this, that aspect of it last year. All right. And Silver, let's start with the one that price about. Okay, there's a long comment. I'm not going to read it, but thank you, Miles. Miles, uh, if you're in here, appreciate that. Till the wealth is out of the hands of the Les Miserables. Then don't expect to see price price match value. After all this time comes, to hold your position in the train will be invaluable and no amount of cash in the world will be worth it. Happy stacking. And that's just it. Right now, people are valuing silver above spot price. Which is why they're buying it above spot price. That's the difference between value and price. Um, the market values it at $27. Some people are paying it for $40 and happily doing it. So I don't know. We've been there before. We've seen that. We've also seen it when it was lower. We saw silver premiums. I remember back in the day when silver was trading at four dollars, and you couldn't buy a silver eagle for under nine dollars. That's a pretty big premium. That's almost a fifty percent premium, and that wasn't the kind of market um, where it was before. But anyways, I'm not surprised, uh, Silver Turtle, that silver paper wasn't rocketing like they hyped it. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. I'm very happy. I bought most of my stack before everything I purchased online was taxed at 9.25%. Yes, these taxes are going to kill you too. And I mentioned that in that video about warning to new investors. You've got to pay tax on silver, especially if, you, if it's under uh, $1,000. Um, some places, if it's under $1,500, or some places, no matter what, you got to pay taxes. So... If you really want to send a message to the bankers and the establishment and to the big guys, wait till the premiums drop, then buy. You know what I mean? Did you see God commenting on my video today? He said, stop buying silver. Wow, crazy. That's crazy. Uh, wish someone would call me names. I'd which way to go. Ooh, all right. ID which way to go. Says Silver Joe Pickle. Like 19 and silver plummets. That's right. 
to Silver Wolverine on this video. He did it. He said it. Yeah, all right. Very good. Thanks, Silver Wolverine. You know, we haven't sung this song in a while. And if Cowboy Gold were here with me, he could do. we could do a duet of it. But I'm going to start off myself because we all got to realize something. In the age of the Silver Short Squeeze... We all must remember one thing, and that is this. Are we ready? Maybe Corn can sing it with me here in the background, and he can harmonize with me, even though I'll be off key and he won't. And that is this. We all live in a silver wolverine, a silver wolverine, a silver wolverine. I said, we all live in a silver wolverine. I still have my spleen in a silver wolverine. Who we like to buy silver when it's really, really low. That's the way to go. Don't you, don't you know? Because we all live in a silver wolverine. Not with Numi King or Mrs. Numismatic Queen. But I like Numismatic Queen and I like Numismatic Queen too. But I just don't happen to live in them. But I do live in a silver wolverine. And Donald in New Mexico's ears are officially bleeding now. We probably lost to some viewers, but hey, we got some thumbs down on that one. Sorry. All right. Newman's Medic King, he loves me. All right. All right. Get out of Civil Wolverine. All right. All right. We'll do a song about Newman's Medic King one day, too. We'll have to do that. We'll do that. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. Silver Surfer. Premium postage and handling around $40 for an ASE. Even with the drop in spot price, I can't bring myself to bait these premiums. I just can't do it, Captain. I can't do it. I can't either. I'll tell you what. When I went to my LC yesterday and they told me $40 for a Silver Eagle, I'm like, not going to do it at this point in juncture. Just not going to do it. All right, yes. We did have uh, some viewers leave after that. All right. Alan Gray. As long as JP Morgan Rockefellers manipulate silver, we are going to get raped on our physical silver. No way silver should be under $30 an ounce. Hold on and do not sell the coin shops or online stackers. Sell directly to manufacturers. All right. Well, I'd say sell to whoever's going to buy it from you if you're going to sell it. But I, I'm, I'm one of those that like to hold on. Hold on. Silver Queen stacker is everything is manipulated. That's right. Everything is. I've, I've been manipulated too. Uh, it's either manipulated or fondled, right? One or the other. All right, and uh, the silver short squeeze got me into silver. We'll start stacking once premiums go down. There you go, brother. That's the way you do it. You pick up that silver on the MTV. Matt Gosset. Oh, man. Oh, man. Matt almost unsubscribed due to singing. Strong bad. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Can you marry me? I will divorce my wife for you. That's actually a high compliment because... Numismatic Queen is, is quite a lovely lady. All right. Yes, Matt, I've got to keep you as a subscriber. I will keep the singing to a minimum. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was pretty bad singing, I know. See, if, if I had um, Corn on here and he sang it, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd go much over much better. I do not have a good voice, but Corn does. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Jen Italia says, here's the thought by Golden Stead. Silver disappoints again. Well, um, that's something I've been doing for a while, and I, I agree. I agree. I like gold. I like gold. But I'm not anti-silver, though, either. I, I do like silver, too, but I, I'm, I'm focusing on gold. I think every silver stack should have a little bit of gold to diversify, you know what I mean? Let's take a slurp of some, let's take a slurp of some coffee here. It's almost cold here. All right, where are we at? I and others made WSB post last Wednesday. I used silver SLV because I considered who my audience was. Then I pushed physical near the end of my post. Then I relentlessly pushed physical in the comments as I figured others would do as well. A 26-year-old with $2,000 to join a movement is not going to spend it on a giant brick. They like the idea of digital. And when they understand the idea of silver better, there's a better chance of them buying physical. A post is not intended as a distraction or trap. I never imagined that this would happen in a week. All right, very good. Well, nice. Good job. All right, understood. Well said, J-Dub. Thank you. Silver Wolverine likes cheap silver. There you go. All right. Cowboy Goid is an Cowboy, <laughs> Cowboy Goid. Cowboy Gold is anti-silver and proud of it. No, yeah, and I understand. I mean, it is, people have been burned by silver, and a lot of that is because there's been less than honest people talking about it in this community. And honestly, I was even fooled by some of it uh, for for a while too, um, 
But yes, a, a death metal version of Silver Wolverine song would be it would be sick, would be cool. So yeah, um, that's why it's always good to understand what silver is and how it's performed over history, um, and also good to diversify into some gold as well. All right, well said, good advice, says Stephen Woodard. All right, there you go. Thank you so much, my friend. Highlander Stackin says, well put, my friend, silver stacking takes patience and commitment, not for the faint of heart indeed. That's right. Over a long course of time. And it's not just over a long course of time. It's making purchases in a smart way. All right. All right, I got a call coming in here. Let's see. Let me see here. Hello? Hi, this is John. I'm calling you from U.S. Senior benefits. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, sir. How are you doing? I'm great, ma'am. Thank you so much for asking. God well, bless you. Uh, thank well, you, but I didn't actually, sneeze. But, uh, I'm sorry. I you said God bless you, but I haven't sneezed yet. Okay. Well, actually, this is a very short and quick call update to you. The state of uh, Virginia has recently approved the final expense program, and we're gonna just share information about that. I want to confirm you're still living in the great no, state of Virginia. No, I am in. I'm in. I am in Louisiana, sir. I live in Monroe, Louisiana. Do you have information from Monroe, Louisiana? Zip code seven zero 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 two. Hello. Are you there, Marta Chode? No, you choot you. All right, very good. That didn't last long. All right. Doug Ford says, can us salivate metal subs put the squeeze on Donald in New Mexico until we squeeze all the carp out of him? Oh, man, all the carp. Have you gone fishing for carp lately, Donald? We want to know. All right, let's see here. And TexCon says, another great video sale. I think a lot of people who are new to silver are unaware of the ridiculous premiums are going to lose money. I may be stubborn, but I refuse to pay ten, fifteen dollars premiums in ASCs or above five dollars for that matter. I'm hopeful that these premiums won't last too long and will likely go buy gold in the meantime. Love those eighties Libertad, by the way. They are my favorite coin. Uh, well said, and I agree wholeheartedly. I don't agree half. I don't agree half-heartedly on that text coin. I agree wholeheartedly on that. Very well said. Good to see. You. Hi, Steve. Good to see you. Carp this says carpal tunnel syndrome. I try very good. Thank you, Donald. All right. Uh, Toshio Aikin, Admex still $99 free shipping, and they seem to have okay stock. Picked up 10, 40% Ikes for fairly economical price. Might be a good Christmas gifts in the future, in the event they smash down silver again after all the sudden done. All right, very good. And that, that that's why, I tell you what, that's one reason why I don't stack 40% or 35% silver nickels. You can get them cheap, but boy, not many people want those things. That's why you don't see the premiums on those, but just saying. But those would make good gifts to Shio. Silver Griffin says, when the premiums go back down to normal, they're uh, rhetorical, but seriously frustrating. Ugh. I understand that burp was in your honor, my friend. I was not burping at you. I was burping with you on that one. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Nick598. Thanks again, and we'll send this to my stack of friend. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Let me introduce you to my stack of friend. Thank you, Nick598. Aloha, stacker. I will wait for the premiums to come down unless I am buying a collector item. There you go. Now, collector items are different. Silversmith, I've seen 18 to 20-year-old people are getting interested in silver, and that's good, but it's like, you know, dating a supermodel, okay? At, you know, uh, at the age of 16 years old, you get the supermodel, and you realize that she's a jerk, and, uh, you know, she's really a jerk. You get turned off by supermodels, you know what I mean? You know, it's crazy. All right. That was probably uh, a bad, uh, that's probably a bad um, example. But anyways, uh, Trapper Bob Patriot, just try and sell silver and see what you get. Eagles are 50 cents over spot and maples are 50 cents under. They charge 40 plus last to look. Yes. Um, Eagles... Uh, yeah, if they sell, if that's right. If, if they if, when they sell them, that's right. But not not in this market. They are paying a little bit more. At least my coin shop is, but not by a whole lot. Dollar cost averaging up or down per ounce prices and premiums are pump and dump this month. But the physical 
Buy the physical when you can. Watch prices. Remember, American Silver Eagles are super premium silver. Uh, well, now especially. They're great demand. And the U.S. Mint can't keep up with them. Getting the blanks is uh, is tough. The uh, the suppliers, the one of the biggest is Sunshine Minting, is having a hard time shooting out blanks. Now, I know that's what she said. I just had to say that so that I can put that little tagline in there. All right, there we go. Good night, Silver Drill Pickle. Thank you so much for being here, Pickle. You are the man. Have a good night, my brother. Appreciate it. Ah. Jeff Robinson said, I think we still have quite a ride ahead. Could you imagine buying physical from LCS and money for $25 and selling it back on Friday for $30? Anyways, it's quite an interesting, interesting event. It shows how the physical market is detached from the commodities market. Can retail physical buyers... Uh, by the ounce, actually dent the price of those trading 1,000-ounce bars in bulk. I'd love to have access to the numbers and the sales on that. Yes. Yes. Interesting to see. And that's the thing where people misinterpret some of that stuff in the COMEX and those del good delivery bars is what those are called. Okay, where are we at? The Raza Manaza. Great advice, Sal. I regret nothing. No regrets. All your gals are belong to Sal. That's right. Great. Thanks for recommending Two is One. Enjoying his content as well. Yes, Two is One is great. Sure is. He sure is. Good advice, Justice Seeker said. Thank you. Thank you, Justice Seeker. I try my best. Low blood pressure. No. To the moon. I'm squeezing my cheeks. It's better than GameStop. You actually get something for your green cotton paper trash. Yes, indeed. Very, very good. And where are we at here? Sergeant Gold says, I'm waiting on the ratio to go back down to around 62 so I can trade for gold. I need to lose some weight. I hear you. I hear you. And for me, I'm just, instead of me trading life, uh, trading it, I'm just kind of um, hanging on to it, just uh, focusing more on gold, much more on gold. James W., I can say this to paper silver price and physical spot price is about to rupture. But that being said, not only will there be high premiums when buying, but also when selling, spot price will almost become irrelevant in the physical world and will open eyes to the fraud of the paper markets. Well, this at this point, it's getting close to a repeat of last year. And it didn't last terribly long, uh, but it did. It, it did, but it certainly did uh, um, separate for a while there. And we remember it well and in this community for sure. Okay, take care, Pickle. Appreciate you. There we go. Uh, above and below says, I hope there's no squeeze. I like safe silver. Never invested to get rich. There you go, brother. Exactly right. Jesse says, if I could give you two thumbs up, uh, I would. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Jesse. Very kind of you. I appreciate that. Thumbs up. Gotta love silver and gold. Good presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mark. Mark G. There we go. Inventories are pretty much gone. It says Rip Screech, Saved by the Bell. Yep. Dustin Diamond passed away. For those of you who didn't know. T, the Silver Stacker. Nice try, Sal, but I don't think the Reddit WSB crowd really cares to learn about silver. They just want to make a quick buck. Yes. Understandable. Okay. Very, very good. Paul, if you're new to Silver and Precious Metals, you found a great YouTube channel here. Well, thank you, Paul. I appreciate that very much. Silver so Wolverine, I think you should re-upload your video about how more rare gold is than silver. Many of these people think silver is more rare than silver. I know. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I um, I might do that. I might I might just redo that video because um, uh, I have done done that about because there's there are some channels out there that actually believe and propagate the myth that silver should be at one to one with gold and that's it's 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 irresponsible because i think deep down they know it's not the case and uh there's one particular channel that does it and they uh they actually don't think that uh, you should be buying silver eagles either they they think they think you should just buy their silver only uh and it's the only salvation is their silver not other which is just irresponsible but I digress. Timber Hills, I'm thinking people that bought yesterday are like, why did I 
just do that today. Buy low, sell high. Timber Hills, yes, indeed. All right. Uh, the Alchemist, just trying to get my mates in the metals the last two years. Three of them have contacted me in the last two days asking where and what to buy. I told you so. There you go. Now they're listening to you, Ozzy. They need to go out with you metal detecting to really see what it's like. Or not metal detecting. Well, metal detecting and also prospecting. Yes, indeed. That's right. All right. Foy Shuck Collection says, I dread to think how many people ordered silver bullion just to flip it for a small profit. Yeah, a dangerous game to play for sure. All right. Uh, okay, Pi Network, we're going to delete that comment. Uh, remove that comment from Pi Network because you're just coming on here just to scam or spam. We can't have that Pi Network. Are you or even a real person or is that a bot? It's probably a bot. But we did see it and deleted it. And no one is going to buy Pi Network just because you come on to a live stream and uh, do it as whether you're a bot or a real person people aren't going to do that that's foolish to do that who's going to go who is going to go to some random youtube comment and and buy something or anything because they just go into a random channel and no one's ever heard of, you know that they've not heard of before or whatever it's a choo that's right pi network is a choo cha that's right by the way uh, blue it's 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 spelled like this choo Chutia, just say, just say, Chutia, Chutia. See, maybe Pi Networks is a Chutia. It could be. If you guys, that's right, there you go, El Lococo. Exactly right. If you're going to spam, leave your phone number so we can even call you and just troll the heck out of you. Okay, let's check the markets for Carlos. We got sidetracked here. We got sidetracked here. All right. We did ban Pi Networks because we want to see if they come back and say something. I'd love to see if they. With their rebuttal to that. Let's see what they say. Let's see. Oh, Pi Networks. Okay, Gomer Pi Networks. All right, here we go. All right, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The metals are up. Silver is up, uh, but not by... Well, it's up 38 cents now. So it's attempting to move. Gold is up a little bit too. Gold is up. Silver is up 1.45%. Uh, uh, and yes, indeed. Crazy, crazy. Wow, there it is. There's where the markets are. All the metals are up slightly. Silver is the big winner of of the evening so far. Ah, yeah. No taxes in Missouri. Good. Oh, great. I'm gonna move to Missouri and get some. Get me some. Get me a some gold and a hunting license. I'm gonna get me a hunting license in Missouri, like old. What's his name? John Kerry said back and he was running for president. I'm going to get me a hunting license. Monty, I got a short squeeze from Barbara Carbone in your live show. I made out good. Nice. I'd love to get a long squeeze from Barbara Carbone. Would love that. Buy silver. Okay. Numismatic King says to buy silver. Come on. Well, if it's at a low premium, I'm buying Numismatic King. I will give you credit where credit is due. How about a credit card? Can they give you a credit card where a credit card is due? And so it's new, Numismatic King is saying buy silver. Can I smell silver instead, Numismatic King? Can I smell it? I'm going to smell silver. It, has, it doesn't cost me anything to do that. Pat Riot. Thank you so much, Pat Riot. It says great channel. There's Barbara Carbone. I want a long squeeze from Barbara Carbone, not a short one. Need more silver. Retarded high premiums, not only for the three billion dollars I try to go to, have a $299 limit. You must... Reach before you check out. That don't make no sense to me. Well, it's because of the great demand. A lot of it's processing orders and stuff. They have the reasons. A lot of people don't agree with it or buy it. Um, and it's crazy. But anyways, okay. The only reason why the premium is high is because people are buying it. People are paying those prices. That's the only reason. If they weren't, they would be going lower. I got that straight from a bullion dealer that, that told me that. We'd interviewed him here, Jonathan Mott from Monument Metals. We talked about this high premiums back last year when this thing happened. The answer is still the same today. Uh, if you pay those high premiums, they're going to keep charging those high premiums. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can never say you got robbed from a bullion dealer if you open up your wallet and give them, give them the money for the, for the silver or gold or whatever. 
um, it's there's a quick that's what the free market is about you know you uh, all you got to do is say no you know what I'm saying all you got to do is say no um, don't ever pay taxes on real money 1149 premium 42 percent six premium they're trying to crush the purchase of physical if you sell them then JM Boyan will give you two dollars above spot for an American Eagle Another way the game is manipulated, the spot price should be about $35. And that's just it. We have to beat them at their game, whatever it is. Um, you need to wait for things to subside and make purchases when the prices, when the premiums come back down. And you just keep buying that way. You, it's about patience. And if you're new, um, learn about silver before you buy it. And then wait it out. These premiums will come back down. These prices will probably come back down. This short squeeze is, is, is an anomaly. Now, understand and hear my words in this live stream. We may not be over this short squeeze yet. Um, I'm not saying that this increase in price means that the short squeeze is still in effect per se, but there's been some chatter out there that the real buying is going to be happening on Thursday. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But... Uh, we could be at the beginning of the end, as I mentioned in my newest video, which we've not gotten to the comments on that one yet. Ms. Sofina ASMR says, I watched silver go up and down and I learned one thing. It's money in the bank. Yes. Thank you. HD Dinah Lowrider. When people say Reddit Raiders don't fully understand what they're buying is a very nice way to put it. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're moving on up here. Dale Val, demand delivery on your paper contracts, few suggesting that it it would only be the way to affect them negatively. Demand delivery and paper contracts. But the thing is, uh, Dale Val, if you do that, they're going to raise their fees. There's a delivery fee that you have on there. And um, and you're never going to get delivery. Uh, yeah, CJ says, unless you have a $100,000 basket in SLV, you'll never get your delivery. Even with that, you'll pay a 20 to 30% of the value in fees, taxes. Um, so that's right. It's it's almost impossible to test that, uh, and that's why they can continue to do this and sell. There just isn't the the yeah, so there's the, we know there's more. We know that there's more silver, paper silver out there than the physical, uh, but it's never really going to be tested um, um, because of what CJ just mentioned there. Rail fanning and stuff says, I'm kind of with you, man, on the metals market. It has ways to shake out the weak hands during uh, short-term price hikes. It always has been that way. Just waiting for the 30-year T-bill to come out uh, from 0708 with the bailout money will flood the market again. And when that happens, it will be ready. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're running to the... Um, Probably getting on a short squeeze of this live stream now. We're going to squeeze everybody out of here probably here shortly. I'm going to go through a couple more comments. We'll check the markets one more time. And uh, we'll see where we'll go from here. My voice is getting a little bit fluttery here. Oh, man, good to see Silver Damsel is here from the bathtub once again. Good to see you. Welcome, Silver Damsel. Guys, let's go to Reddit and see. No one is talking about silver. It's a trap by the elite to recover most lost money. Don't believe me? Go to Reddit yourself. Well, as you saw in my comment, I talked about that in a previous video. Uh, it's in the pinned comment of this one. Matt Gosset, thank you so much. Read the Rota channel pushes silver hardcore over gold. He's got to be half crazy, but every once in a while he says something worthless hearing. I listen to two X. Yeah, I've heard very little there. He's one of those, I think, that believes that there's a bunch of gold in the Grand Canyon or something like that. Um, I know he's um, pretty big on silver. And uh, I'm, yeah, I really don't have time to listen to some of these gurus. Um, I, I try my best. I focus my attention on supporting other channels that are that come around here. So that's kind of what I do. But but anyways, but, uh, but yeah, I appreciate that, Matt. Yes. So you're saying once in a while we say something. Yeah, and I believe. Uh, same thing. Uh, there are some people who do once in a while will speak some truth. So, yeah, good point. Thanks, Matt. All right, there you go. Silver Wolverine, I can't afford silver. That's why I shifted to gold. There you go. All right. Okay, uh, HD, Dyna Lowrider. Silver is not an investment like stocks. It's a long-term plan, something young investors probably don't have the patience for. That's right. 
Exactly right. And that's why I use the term investors here because it's to try to understand people that it's really not an investment when you think about it. Really not an investment. Doesn't pay dividends. Come on, say it with me, Sal. Silver sucks. You know what? You know you want to. <laughs> oh, Terry's tempting me. No, I love silver. Thank you, Terry. All right. Rainbow Music, good videos. So I have to question those that think silver is going to $1,000 per ounce. Who is going to want it then? If you think you're going to trade 50 ounces for a new car, you are delusional. That's right. Well, and it reminds me, uh, when I put out my uh, debt clock videos, we're silver. I say silver, $4,727. But it's not a lie because that is meaning the amount of paper dollars printed is silver uh, compared to silver ounces. That's the it's a it's a ratio. It's not a price structure. There you go. All right, Joey from Seattle is here. Hello, Joey. Good to see you. Long time to see. You. Hope you're doing well. All right. Shakedown says Patrick Gelpi. All right. Shakedown. Shakedown. Where we're going down is the Shakedown House. We're getting closer to the latest video. I wish I could give more thumbs up. If I could, I would keep speaking the truth. The Metal Evangelist of YouTube. Thank you, Jay. But. Keep in mind, there are times where I get things wrong too. Believe you me, I, I can get it wrong. But if I get something wrong, it's not because I, I'm trying to mislead anybody. It's because I genuinely either was ignorant or circumstances have changed or information has been discovered. So keep in mind, I don't always speak the truth. Um, but if there is a portion where I get something wrong... It's not my intention to do that, and I will correct my mistake. Timothy Whittington says, Great time to teach the newest community potentials. Right. Thank you so much, Timothy. I'm always wrong, says Don Numismatic King. All right. But I still love you. Thank you, Numi. Appreciate it. Dina Lowrider says, All that was accomplished is driving up the premiums and crashing the... Spot. Yes, indeed. I'm always full of... I don't have to take a dump right now, Numismatic King. So actually, I'm not full of crap right now because I've already taken a dump, okay? Just so you understand. All right. Uh, Cloud Strife. I've changed my buying methods a little. I always bought from Atmex. Hate, hate paying the wire transfer and premium. Getting them to know my local coin shop instead. Plus no electronic footprint left. That's true. <laughs> Very true about the electronic footprint. I've got a video talking about that very thing coming up sometime this year. Mm. Great advice. Thank you, says Nathaniel Outdoor Ventures. Thank you, Nathaniel. Appreciate that. All right, where are we at? Great points for all prospective accumulators. Thanks, Florida Stacker. Appreciate you, sir. Great advice, says Crystal Clean. I usually like trolling silver bugs, but really respect your message in this video. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Crystal, because I'm trying my best to not be overhyped silver. You know what I mean? All right. Over here at the massage parlor where it costs more being manipulated or <laughs> short squeeze. All right. I went to pee, so we're good then. That's right. There you go. Longstream Peter North style. All right. I've, Carlos Danger says... Wall Street Bets is buying silver at a very low amount, if at all. They want to screw with paper short squeezes. A silver short squeeze in physical supply would make much more sense, but it's their hill to die on financially. Yes. Okay. Supreme Cannon. Still have silver I bought 13 years ago. The size of my stack has waxed and waned over the years, but ounces, targets, has remained the same throughout more in this way of purchasing Peters, it will leave a new bunch of silver enthusiasts in its wake. Pressure on bullion banks will be ratcheted up another notch, notch torture they richly deserve. All right. Will people have the stomach for this long game of silver? We shall find out. What goes up usually comes down and fast both ways. I started buying silver when it was about $4 an ounce. Last week, I bought an ounce for 32 Next year, I might buy 10 ounce bars for 500 each. I don't care about short term price fluctuations. The dollar stays strong and demand is low. I expect that it'll hover between 24 to 31. 
the dollar drops, demand increases, I suspect it'll hit $40 or more. The thing is, I won't have to worry about inflation taking away from the value of what I have erased in silver. And there's a possibility it might make some profit. That is why I, I buy silver. But it would be awesome. Silver helps me to relax and sleep without more worries about tomorrow. There you go. All right, there you go. This Dave sounds like he's a sage and wise um, accumulator of silver and understands the markets. All right, Mr. or NR, I had to stop by a couple of my LCSs. Friday and Saturday, I grabbed a quarter ounce American Eagle, then grabbed a couple peace dollars and $10 face value in halves. Glad I was heavier priced on gold pickups. What a bunch of hooey and glad this hype is over. Quick, now we just need to wait for eternity for silver premiums to go back to normal. All this has made me want to support my LCS more. Understandable. Although my LCS was kind of pretty much out of most everything, so they're charging high premiums. Okay, take care. Hey, thanks, Silver Mac. I appreciate you being here. Silver Mac, the one and the only. Appreciate you, my friend. All right, have a good evening. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, my friend. Yes, indeed. Always good to see Silver Mac. There's a ton of inflation in $40 plus silver. All right, yes, there is. That is a ton of inflation. That's right. CCT says, time for me to head out. Have a great night. Thank you, CCT. Appreciate you being here. I know it's late over there, and it's late for me, too. I'm running a little long in the tooth on this one. Rock on Black Ops says, don't be get fooled with the price of paper silver. Just look at the true market of physical silver, and it's way up. The Wall Street's even said to buy physical. Yes, but understand that these premiums, you could get burnt on them just as long as you uh, are prepared for that possibility. You know what I mean? Big Nasty, great nugget of info with the 15 minutes, 15 seconds of fame. I see that, that being the truth with social media and the memes and TikTok videos that go viral. Clips are about 10, 15 seconds and are forgotten about within a month or two. That's right. Here today, gone tomorrow. That's why I've had a little bit more attention on my channel, but really it's short-lived. But I do hope that most of you will stick around here because uh, I think you'll like it. Um, we try to try to make things entertaining. It's fun in the silver community and gold community as a whole. Uh, I think is a good place to hang out. There's a lot of good po people here. Lucy, thanks for always looking out for the new guys. I'm not as new as I used to be, but I still listen and try and learn whenever I can. Well, you are awesome, Lucy Stacks. And we're, the community is better for folks like you. It's good to see new folks pop in and be here. Carlos Gonzalez says, this is a splash of cold water to the face of the silver noobs. That's right. It's a set of reality, the circumstances of the market and where it is. All right, we have a like, number 217. I still beat Rocky Superstar. He did it. He did beat Rocky on this one. Hillbilly prepping. A lot of folks made money, but a lot, a lot of lost money. Had all the media call thousand dollars silver. I talk about pump and dump. That's right. All right, very good. Have a good night, Silver Wolverine. Thank you for being here, my friend. And rail fanning and stuff is here. I will send some etho on my nano pool payout. Okay, cool. Not sure what that means, but thank you, rail fanning. Glad you're here. Good night, Meteo Man. Appreciate you. Stacking is saving real money. Eventually, it will boom. Sal's half right, or like a broken clock, right two times every day. All right. There you go. All right. On, on that note, guys, uh, we got a lot of comments to cover through here, so we went through a lot. Here is the market as we finish out this live stream. The silver to gold ratio is climbing a little bit, almost at 69, but silver is up. It is uh, trying to recover some of its losses, $27.21. Uh, will it keep where it is and go up in the next couple of days? Will there be a big push on Thursday to buy more silver as some speculate in the chatter on some of these forums? We'll find out. Until then, stay tuned. I will be back on Friday at 6 o'clock Eastern. And I hope you guys will join me then as well. I want to thank you all. And thanks to all the new folks who came back tonight. Uh, this is typically what we do, but sometimes we do other stuff too. We might have a guest or two. We may uh, play a little guitar, do a little singing, although I, my singing sucks. We'll call a couple of scammers. We have fun here. So I appreciate you all for being here. A multitude of gratitude. And let me leave you with this sage piece of advice. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching to the ground. Have a good night.